This is a complete breakdown of how to start a social media marketing business in 2024 with no money. You don't need to buy some scammy $997 course. You don't need to sell a kidney to book a coaching call with some social media guru, none of that. I'm going to cover all the essentials in this video so that by the time you finish watching this, you'll know how to start up your business, how to get clients, how to get paid, how to actually deliver the services you'll be offering, and some important information on setting up your business. Let's get right into it. First, let's talk about starting your agency and picking a name. I'll give you an example of an imaginary agency you could start, um, an agency that helps home renovation companies get more leads for their business. Now, I didn't spend a lot of money on this, I just came up with a name in my head, made a quick logo using canva.com and downloaded it for free. You really don't need to shell out hundreds or thousands of dollars on a fancy brand pack when you're just starting out. And if you ever need ideas or help with creating images, there are so many AI tools available nowadays. You can literally just go on ChatGPT and ask it to come up with company names. And you can use Leonardo AI for cool images. They're both completely free to use. Now, when it comes to creating a website, I'm going to use Wix.com which is a super easy website builder. You can sign up for free, browse through their templates, and create a website for free too. It's as simple as dragging and dropping your logo and changing the text. Keep in mind though, that with the free version of Wix, your website URL will have .wix site in it, and there will be a banner ad for Wix at the top of your site. But if you want your own custom domain without these limitations, you can get a professional site for as little as six pounds a month, so now you've got a legit agency set up. It shouldn't take you more than an hour to pick a name, register as a sole trader, which I'll explain a little later, and make a basic logo in Canva. Setting up the website might take a bit longer, maybe an hour or two, but really within half a day, you should be ready to launch your agency. Now it's time to start finding clients, but to do that, you'll need a way to reach out to them. Here's where Gmail can be really helpful. I know you might think you need a fancy business email address, but there are plenty of successful agency owners who started out without even having a website, let alone a professional email address. So there's no excuse to not get started. Having said that, when you're starting out, one of the best investments you can make is in a business domain and email. It's really cost effective with a domain costing about $15 a year and a business email included for about 10 bucks a month. This is way more important than spending money on other software tools like Slack and Notion. You can always add those later once you're up and running. If you're ready to get a personalized email address, let me show you how easy and cheap it is to do. First, go to Google Domains and type in the domain name you want to buy. You might find that your first choice is already taken, but you can still get a good domain for just around $13 a year. When you check out, you'll have the option to buy a custom email through Google Workspace. For just $13, you'll get a personalized domain and email address instantly, and for a monthly cost of about $6, you'll get access to the whole G Suite ecosystem. It's a great deal and definitely worth considering. Next, let's talk about setting up an Instagram account for your agency. It's completely free, and you can use Canva to create eye-catching graphics, like testimonials, without spending a dime. Now, I don't recommend spending hours every day on this. Instead, try to batch your content creation once a month, making five or six pieces of content at once. Honestly, once your agency gets going, you might not even touch your Instagram for a while. But when you're just starting out, having something on Instagram can make your agency look more credible to potential clients. Don't just post boring graphics. Show your face, add some personality. Clients like to see the people behind the agency they're working with. Now, once you've got your Instagram set up, it's time to think about getting paid. Whether you're having meetings or signing contracts, the end goal is to get paid for your services. I would recommend getting paid through a payment processor rather than bank transfers. Yes, using a payment processor might incur a small fee, usually between 1.5 to 3%, but trust me, it's worth it. Having a client's card on file and being able to auto-bill them each month is incredibly powerful. It saves you from dealing with late payments and lets you focus on providing excellent service to your clients. Trust me, it's worth the investment. So when it comes to getting paid, I'd recommend Stripe. 
The reason is simple. It allows you to accept payments via debit or credit card, set up auto billing, and it minimizes any hassle between you and your client. The great thing about Stripe is that you can set up an account as an individual or sole trader, so you don't need a registered business address to get started. But it's worth noting that Stripe and PayPal do take a small percentage of each transaction, but honestly, you only need to worry about that if you're getting paid, which means your business is doing well. <laughs> if you'd rather not lose any part of your service fee to transaction fees, you can still accept direct bank transfers. Now let's talk about actually delivering your service. What you offer depends on your niche and the type of agency you're running. The key is not to limit yourself to just one area. Always ask yourself, what will bring the client the best results? That's what truly matters. For our example of running ads for home renovations companies, Facebook is likely the best platform to attract new customers. This means you'll need to invest in advertising. Here's a key tip for agency owners. Never use your own money to pay for your client's Facebook ads. Instead, ask them to input their payment details and deal directly with Facebook. There are a few reasons for this, but the main one is streamlining the process. By having your clients pay for their own ads, you avoid the hassle of billing them separately for a retainer and their advertising spend. It also simplifies your business accounts as you don't need to manage two sets of finances. Now let's talk about actually running these ads. You have two options. You can either do it yourself or hire someone to do it for you. Facebook has made its advertising platform user friendly. So even with minimal knowledge or expertise, you can achieve great results for your clients. Now, there's another option you can consider, hiring a contractor to manage your ads for you. One way to find a contractor is by visiting the Facebook ads subreddit, where you can seek advice and connect with potential contractors. Remember, you'll only need to hire a contractor after you've been paid by the client and after the contractor has delivered their service. This is an example of contractor arbitrage. Those who find and sell business, handle marketing, and generally manage the client relationship usually have the upper hand. Many contractors prefer focusing solely on delivering their service, like running Facebook ads or managing SEO, rather than dealing with client acquisition and business management. When you hire a contractor, you can mark up their service to make a profit. It's similar to how Airbnb charges a service fee for managing bookings. It's important to note that even though you're paying a contractor, you can structure your payments in a way that keeps you from being out of pocket. Many agencies follow a payment structure where they receive payment from the client at the beginning of the month and pay their contractors at the end of the month. This helps maintain a healthy cash flow for your business. Now, let's talk about taxes and compliance. So, starting your own business or agency might feel like a big challenge, especially when you think about dealing with government rules and fees. But don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Let's break it down step by step. First off, you can start as a sole trader. This means you're basically working for yourself. You don't need to register a fancy company name or anything like that. It's pretty easy to do. Just go online to the government website and fill out a simple form. Once you're registered, you can start charging for your services. As your agency grows and you start making more money, you might want to think about becoming a limited company. This can be a good idea once you're making around $10,000 a month. Being a limited company gives you some extra legal protection and can help with taxis, but it does involve more proper work. <laughs> when it comes to money, it's important to keep track of what you're earning and spending. Whether you're a sole trader or a limited company, you need to keep records for tax purposes. That means sending invoices to your clients and keeping receipts for things you buy for your business. Speaking of taxes, don't stress too much about them. The government has tools and resources to help you figure out what you owe. Just set aside some money each month so you're ready when tax time comes around. And if you're ever unsure about anything, it's a good idea to talk to a professional like an accountant. So starting your own agency doesn't have to be scary. Just take it one step at a time, follow the rules, and you'll be on your way to success. Now that you know all the basics behind how to start your agency, sign your first client, and deliver the services, let's talk about costs. Here's a breakdown comparing the free options I mentioned earlier with more premium choices. If you choose the free options, like registering as a sole trader, creating a logo on Canva, 
building a website on Wix, and using Gmail for email, you won't spend anything to start your agency and get paid. But if you are willing to invest a bit more, you can set up your agency more professionally. This includes registering your business as a limited company and purchasing a professional domain, all for less than 50 bucks. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.